A colonoscopy cannot just save your life by detecting colon cancer early. It can also potentially prevent a colon cancer from occurring. A colonoscopy may not be the most pleasant thing to have, but it's better than colon cancer. I would enjoy everyone to come and run with me on the uh, colon cancer run. It's called the Don't Sit on Colon Cancer 5K. Uh, it's going to be held at Santerra Princess Anne Hospital on April 9th at 9 a.m. We're trying to make people aware of colon cancer and the benefits of early screening. Colon cancer is the third leading cause of cancer in the United States, and it's the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States, so this is an incredibly common disease. Your chances of getting colorectal cancer is a little bit less than 5%, so we need to impact how we're going to try and treat this disease. We are sponsoring a Walk, Don't Sit on Colorectal Cancer. It's a 5K awareness run. And basically we started this several years ago in order to bring to light the incidents and the screening programs regarding colorectal cancer. Virginia ranks about 18th in the country in screening rates for colon and rectal cancers. So this run was designed to basically get the message out that you need to be screened. Colon cancer screening usually is started at the age of 50 because the incidence of colorectal cancer starts to go up at the age of 50. African Americans are a little bit different. Their incidence is a little bit earlier, so usually between 45 and 50 years old we start screening for African American. If you have a family history of colon rectal cancer or if you have some other predisposing factor, we usually start earlier. It's very important and we know from numerous studies that screening cuts the rate of colon and rectal cancer. We've seen the incidence of colorectal cancer go down over the past decade or so, and we think that's in large part due to screening programs that we have in place. In the past, I have been a chemo patient myself, so when these patients come in and are going through this, I can sit down with them and relate and know what's going on to a certain sense. When somebody comes in nervous, scared to hear what's going on, or they think there could be bad news, I sit next to them, talk it out. Figure out what's making you scared. Let's talk through this so you feel better and comfortable about what's going on. Even though it is their situation that they're going through, I'm not in that situation anymore, but I have been. And they're like, okay, so she's not just telling me that, oh, it's gonna be okay, oh, this or that. They feel more relieved because I've actually been in those shoes. Give us a day and we'll prevent cancer. People ask all the time, so when should we be screened? What are the symptoms? The problem with colon and rectal cancer, it's an insidious disease. That means by the time you get symptoms, such as rectal bleeding, such as abdominal pain, such as change in bowel habits or weight loss, it's usually too late. Colon and rectal cancer is best caught early or prevented. I love that I'm working for a company that's so involved in the community and to put the word out there. We have every resource, we have education, we have information from surgeons, from patients, everything that educates us along the way. So that's an amazing thing that every day I know I have what I need. We would not be who we are if we did not have every single position that we have here and every person on staff here. This is our other family and it truly feels like that here. Everybody loves to get a colonoscopy. Everybody loves the bowel prep associated with it. Actually a colonoscopy is really unremarkable. Most of the time what we do is we start an IV, give patients sedation, and 99% of my patients remember nothing about the colonoscopy. Everyone should go out and run, do the screening, just to have that early detection peace of mind and knowing that you're out in the community helping raise awareness for everyone else to get screenings. The run is scheduled to be April 9th here at Santerra Princess Anne Hospital. And the route, basically, we start at the hospital, we go around the amphitheater and come back to the hospital. It's really fun, it's a great event. I've done it a couple of times and um, it's really not that difficult, even for us old folkies who, um, who don't run very much anymore. <laughs>